Hey guys, in this video we're going to take a look at a GameCube emulator um, by the name of Dolphin. I will provide link under the video description so you could download the emulator and plus various ROMs as well. I've also got a PlayStation 1 um, emulator, the PCSX. Watch out for that one quite fairly soon. Before we get start off, there is one thing I need to make clear. I, pre I pretty much do these videos on the MacBook Gaming purely for testing purposes, just to give you guys an idea of what how it handles games, you know, if you're thinking of buying one. But I really re wouldn't recommend you go buy a MacBook just for gaming. It's primarily made for applications. For me personally, I prefer to play games on the PlayStation 4 or on the Xbox One or even a high-end uh, PC like uh, the Alienware it's much more preferable so you know don't just go out there to buy the Mac thinking you're going to get great quality like these consoles right so when you click on the emulator itself you'll get this um, white screen which you can customize and change the colors of the logos you've got open refresh you've got all your configurations that's available right there this is where you would configure your gamepad I will go through a few stages to show you refresh it will pretty much highlight like it's highlighting my keyboard and trackpad if you connected a PS4 controller PS3 Xbox 360 it will pull all of those up in the graphical section you have various uh, enhancements that you can make or select um, before you actually run the ROM you've got various native uh, resolution that you can pick you could really end up the graphics uh, capabilities if there's anything wrong with your game status I would pretty much put those to the lowest possible settings if you do encounter any problems but you've got enough settings here to be able to um, ad adjust according to how you want your game to look or how you want it to play now I got my PS4 controller connected via Bluetooth you can see there the blue LED is on once that's done, you pretty much go into the uh, gamepad input, select your device. I've selected input zero wireless controller because that's what I've got connected. And you pretty much just configure. The, the way you configure is by using your mouse, clicking on the various section and pressing the corresponding buttons on your controller. And once you've pretty much done that and you've calibrated your connected controller, and pretty much go ahead and test every buttons to make sure that they were all working it will be nicely highlighted you're all good ready to go another thing is while you're running the game you can also gain access to your various different settings so if the game is starting right now I could pretty much go in with the option menu and select a further modify my controller if there's a button missing or maybe adjust the graphics according to the game so you know when you've got it in windowed version you can actually go ahead and still make various different adjustments where it needed to be made so let's just check out some of these games all ships avoid the armada's fire in for in his flagship here we go hey Slippy, don't get cocky
a Midwestern. Sometimes you do have issues with the sound like you could hear.
Yeah. <laughs> 